ebusi afo masai so aba bio mu o asade yi e ya ya mele bi sa no hello guys of very what you do here welcome to my channel as usual don't forget to like subscribe and share these videos so guys let's get straight into the video how do you identify a Ghanaian when you're outside the country from my travel experience eh, some things have come to my notice and I've put these things down and I'm going to share with you these are some characteristics or some behavior I have identified in Ghanaians and most of the time when I look at the person I'm thinking they end up being Ghanaian. These are my personal thoughts anyway. You can put yours down in the comments. I mean, let's have a conversation. First off, have you noticed that Ghanaians wear socks and slide? When I say slide, it's the Reebok slide. Then they will add either a short or the track. Especially when you're coming back home, dear. When you meet people like that at the airport, 90% out of 100, they are Ghanaian. I don't know who taught us that. Or me nimse life ben or no ana. But please, if you're a foreigner and you're coming to Ghana and you need help, as for when you get to Kotoka, of, of course, you are already in Ghana. But like when you are boarding a, a flight to come to Ghana and you want to find a Ghanaian, please look out for the guy that is wearing the socks with the slide. When I say the slides, usually the sport type. I mean the sports brands, Reebok, Adidas, aha. Uh -huh. Immediately you see anyone with slides, socks and shorts. Definitely Ghanaian. Let's move on. Have you ever heard the word chale? Chale is a Ghan word. Um, I think it means slide or slippers. You can refer to your friend as chale. You can use chale when you're sad. You can use chale when you're happy like when 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 you're in a good mood you ca you can be like oh charlie oh charlie like charlie the thing they be you and when you are not in a good mood or when there's a problem you can say oh Charlie, oh charlie oh charlie yawa pai oh charlie <laughs> so actually it depends on your mood we Ghanaians, we understand i don't even know if i'm explaining it well but then we just understand if you hear Charlie anywhere in the world, whoever is saying that Charlie is Ghanaian, that one is 100%. I can bet my last one Ghana CD on it. Moving on, you think you are my age, mate. Do you know how old I am? Are you my co equal? <laughs> Ghanaians will laugh at this. They can really relate to this. If you plan coming to this Ghana, eh? Know that age difference, it means so much to us. Please, so, we want to be the ones giving the advice. We want to be the ones sending you. We want to be the one making you run all over the place just because we are older than you. Per Ghanaian culture, we give a lot of respect to those that are older than us and most of the time people take advantage of this to bully you to just take advantage of you sometimes it doesn't even relate to the situation but hey, just because we are Ghanaian so if you are anywhere in the world and you can relate to this the probability of that person being Ghanaian is like 100% I don't know who else does that. I think it's only Ghanaians. Ghanaians are very respectful for that. You have to give it to us. We like using the word please. Please, are you coming? Please, where are you? Yes, please. No, please. Please, I can't hear you. Can you speak up? If you know anybody that uses please as much as they mention your name, the probability of that person being Ghanaian is like 90%. Ghanaians 
add glitz to literally everything because we believe using the word please makes you polite and respectful we always greet people before we start a conversation it doesn't matter whether we know you or we don't know you but again just to be polite and respectful you have to greet and in some cases even inquire how the person is doing before you start your actual conversation it shows that you are well mannered you were well brought up you don't meet people and just start talking straight away nobody will mind you another important thing to note about Ghanaians we do not give or receive with the left hand we do not shake with the left hand because per our culture the left hand is unclean and so if you are going to deal with Ghanaians you have to make that conscious effort to always use your right hand to receive to give to greet to direct to point you would come across as a very disrespectful person if you use your left hand and again this stems from our culture if you can identify with this probably that person is a Ghanaian guys this is supposed to be a very quick video and I hope you enjoyed it comment down below and tell me how you identify Ghanaians when you're outside this country and the foreigners I would want to know how do you how do you identify Ghanaians what makes Ghanaians different from all other Africans I would really like to know so do well to leave a comment below thank you so much for watching this video and do stay tuned to this channel because there are lots of videos like this coming up if you want to suggest any video ideas to me you are welcome please do well to leave them down in the comments below until we meet again makramo i'm out bye, -bye.